Wagwan people, you know good? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about my kojic acid soap. Yes guys, so this is my version of the kojic acid soap. So just go and sit back and watch the video and just remember to leave your comments and please press up the like button people yeah make sure to subscribe to the channel yes more and big up all of my subbies on my up so far thank you guys for subscribing you know my love you know yeah 100 percent i love real jamaican love you know, i get you know no fake love yes people so just go and watch the video and leave your comment and tell me what to think about the soap and also if you want to order any soap you can always um dm me just follow me on instagram you can follow me on tiktok and just um give me a direct message okay okay go and watch the video bye Okay, so it's actually 24 ohms. Okay, so now that you know the weight, yeah, which is almost 25 ohms, the soap base. So you're gonna put it on your stove top to melt. Okay guys, so this is gonna take a while to melt, but you don't want to turn your stove too high because you don't want it to burn, you just want it to melt, gradually melt. So make that go and melt and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is my kojic acid powder. So while we wait on the soap to melt, I'm just gonna be weighing out my kojic acid. So I'm just going to be using 0.5 ounce. I'm just gonna put this in our um, water bath to let it melt. Caution B.
Okay, guys, it's almost melted, almost fully melted, and this is pure glycerin and soap base that I'm using. It's actually glycerin um, and carrot oil soap base. But um, you can choose any soap base that you want to choose. Uh, you can probably use a goat milk if you like more moisturizing effect. But I'm choosing to use a glycerin. Which is really good for the skin. It hydrates the skin. Because you know, kojic acid tends to be very drying for the skin. So, the glycerin will help. With that, and I'm also going to be adding some kale and clay, which is extra moisturizing for the skin as well. Okay, guys, now you can see the kojic acid is fully melted. It kind of has a yellowish color when melted. So, you just want to take it out of the water bath right now. Not to be there too long. Mix it thoroughly until all of the green is no longer visible. Okay, so that's a kojic acid. And I just add a little bit of glycerin to help with the melting as well. And you know, glycerin is very good for the skin. It it's a good humectant for the skin, so it draws the moisture to the skin. Okay guys, so I'm going to be adding um, about a gram of stearic acid to the soap. Um, this can help the soap be a little bit more harder, firmer soap, and help it to lather. Stove is fully melted. Okay, people, so now that this cool, we are going to add some color. Yay. J look orange. I want more. Mm -hmm. You want more orange? Mm -hmm. Alright, I put some more orange. I'm going to add some tea tree oil. Mix, 
mix mix and then I'm gonna add some sweet orange oil It's a grapefruit. Give a professional. <clears throat> okay, guys, so there's the color nice, rich orange. Mm. It's so pretty. Marvoni. Adding in the kojic acid. Make sure you mix it in properly. Splash. to get rid of the bubbles.
okay guys thank you so much for watching my video so there is the finished product hope you like it so just leave your comments yeah leave the comments down below and please if you're not subscribed as yet please hit up the bell see you next time